Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the very awesome Mortal Kombat theme song, okay? So in this theme, it's broken down into three sections, three particular motives that play. So I'll give you a preview of all three sections before we start learning it. So the first section goes like this, it goes... Repeats. And the second section is this part, it goes like this. Repeats. Okay, so every section in this kind of like repeats, okay? But anyway, the third section is a really awesome part, it goes like this, give you a preview. My favorite section, it goes like this. To it. It's really awesome, okay? But all of the three sections are pretty awesome, in fact. So let's go ahead and start with the first section. So the first section goes like this, okay? Give you uh, how many parts we're gonna break it up into. Uh, let me see. We'll break it up into four parts so it's easier to learn, okay? So here we go. So the first part goes like this. Start on the A, so it doesn't matter what A, you can start with the A just above middle C, that's fine. So it goes two A's up to C, A, D, A, E, D. And that's the first part for the right hand. One more time, it goes like this. A, A, C, A, D, A, E, D. And that's the right hand. Okay, once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. Okay, so with that A minor chord in mind, the two hands together is really simple. It's just the first chord and first note on the right hand together like this. Together. Like that. And that's the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes like this. Together. Like that. Okay, moving on to the second part. Second part, right hand continues like this. It continues to C, C, E, C, up to G, C, E, C, like that. And that's the right hand for the second part. One more time for the right hand for the second part. So it goes like this, it goes C, C, E, C, G, C, E, C, and that's the right hand there. Once you get that left hand, one chord is C major, which is C, E, G. Okay, two hands together, once again, it's the same pattern where you put the chord with the first note on the right hand, like this, together. And that is the second part. One more time for the second part, so let's play like this, together. And that's the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far, we'll be playing like this in this section, so it goes... Like that. Moving on, right hand, the third part goes down to the G twice. B, G, C, G, D, C. And that's the right hand for the third part. One more time for this third part. So it goes G, G, B, G, C, G, D, C. And that's the right hand for this third part. Once you get that left hand, we have one chord is G major, which is G, B, D. Pretty simple once again, two hands together for this third part. It just goes together. And that is the third part. Okay, one more time, together. And that's it. Back to back, the three parts of this section is played like this. Check it out. Like that. Moving on to the fourth and last part of this section before it repeats. Right hand goes down to the F, F, A, F, up to C, F, C, B. And that's the right hand for the fourth part. One more time, so it just goes F, F, A, F, C, F, C, B. And that's the right hand. Once you get that right hand there, left hand, we have one chord here, it's F major, which is F, A, C. So with that F major chord in mind, the two hands together goes like this, so F and F major together. Like that. One more time, so it goes like this, together. And that's it for the fourth part. So back to back, the four parts would play like this, check it out. Okay, so let's move on to the second section, okay? So this section is pretty easy. Left hand only has one chord, it's spamming. 
A, C, E, which is A minor, and then you play that for every single right hand note there is. So just get this left hand out of the way, and okay, get the right hand now. So pretty much teach you the whole right hand for this section, because it's only about the right hand. Left hand is just doing A minor with every single note played on the right hand. Okay, so here we go, it goes like this. It goes four A's, one, two, three, four, and then G, C, and then four A's once again, one, two, three, four, and then G, E. And once again, four A's again, one, two, three, four, and then once again, G, C, and then it goes, how many A's in a row here? There's seven A's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Okay, so one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes A, 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 G, C, A, 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 G, E, A, 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 G, C, A, 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 like that. So the last four A's are pretty fast. It's like A, 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 like that. Okay, so that's the right hand. Okay, so once you get that, we put the two hands together. It's really simple. As I said before, every right hand note with the A minor chord just goes like this. Below for the left hand, so like that, okay. So, octave below, so it doesn't clash with that E note, so and it gives it a bit more bass, okay. So, yeah, okay. If you're a bit more advanced, you can add an extra like rhythm to it. Okay, but anyways, that's that. You can repeat that second section a lot. You can hear it in the original as well. That's repeated. Okay, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, for that second section. Now let's move on to the uh, other, the uh, third section. Okay, this awesome section. Okay, this section is a bit harder because it's faster. So here we go. Let's break it up into four parts and teach you how to play it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, the left hand is pretty easy again, it's just A minor, but there's like a pattern to it, so you have to learn how to count the A minor chords, like one, two, three, four, keep this pattern throughout the way, okay? But anyways, the main thing is the right hand, quite a lot of stuff happening on the right hand. So the first part goes like this, goes A, E, A, C, A, B flat, A, C, A, B flat, G, and that's it. This pattern is actually played three times, okay? So it's not as hard as you think it is, but yeah, it does require some counting skills, okay? So one more time, it goes A, E, A, C, A, B flat, A, C, A, B flat, G, like that. Okay, so counting it, in, uh, group it into a uh, subdivide of, of four counts, okay? So it's easy to count. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that, okay? Count it like that. So because it's repeated three times, so you need to really get this rhythm correct, okay? So one more time, it goes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's it, okay? So make sure you get that. Okay, so putting the uh, two hands together, A minor chord, it's really simple. The left hand kind of counts for the main beats. You know how we're counting the fours every single time? Just play that chord followed by the higher two notes uh, per every, like, the main beat. So always on the one beat. So it's like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like this. So like this, check it out. So one, two, three, one, two, three, here. Like that. When it's slow, it sounds like that. When it's faster, like that. Okay, but you have to get the rhythm right. If it doesn't crunch right into the uh, um, place of the rhythm, it doesn't sound right, okay? So, like that, okay? So, da, da. Faster. Okay, the reason why we're going through this so many times is because it repeats for three times. So the first three parts are the same as the first part, like this. Second. Third. Okay, and then the last, the fourth part uh, changes a little bit. Right hand, it goes A, E, A, C, and then G, 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 A, A. Like that, okay, like this. A, E, A, C, G, 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 A, A, like that. Okay, so that's that. Okay, the rhythm, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. So putting together, so. Like that, 
Very important for the rhythm, okay? And that's it for the fourth part. So back to back, the four parts will just be played like this and you just repeat it like. So you want to build up the speed like that, okay? I think I actually did it a little bit slow in the preview, but it doesn't really matter as long as um, you play, you learn the proper rhythm to it, and then you just build up the speed, okay? Like that, okay? And then you make it more uh, bassy, everyone. Be like... Pretty awesome, pretty awesome theme, okay? But anyway, hope you enjoy this theme, all three sections of it's pretty awesome. Yeah, go ahead, check out the rest of my channel. I literally have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these similar piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from, a lot of stuff. Check out my website as well if you wanna learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff, okay? But that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.